Stop. Stop. Ava, I said stop. The wider the foot travels from the center of its axis, the more speed and power it picks up. More than enough to cause a knockout or concussion. Delivered to the neck, it can fracture the cervical vertebra. The rotation of the torso is the basis for the strike's power. Because the torso has an effective mass far greater than the arms, its rotation can impart up to 400% more force to your target. And the last minute rotation of the wrist can magnify that force even more. Alternating points of leverage are the basis for the move. Locking the hands high behind the shoulder blades puts you in control of your opponent's center of mass, which in turn negatively affects his conditional stability. Dropping the hands behind the lower back and driving your chin into the chest further disturbs his center of mass and makes resistance from this position. The power of this move comes from the spin. The rotation of the torso, combined with the foot at the extremity of that rotation, generates speeds of over 20 miles per hour. By the time the heel connects with the solar plexus, it is traveling 60 miles per hour and transfers over 450 pounds of force, enough to break ribs and even damage internal organs. And because the punch is delivered to your opponent's core along a center line, the more directly that force is transmitted to his body. The effect is similar to that of continually slamming a battering ram against a door. No matter how strong, it can only sustain so many blows before it collapses. <laughs>